If you love noodles, you're going to love these four recipes. They are simple enough to make at home, even when you're strapped for time. Given a choice, I will choose noodles every time. I love noodles and these are some of my favorites. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Eat well, save money. Here are four noodle recipes to do just that. And we're gonna start with a thumb size piece of ginger today. We want about two to three teaspoons of grated ginger. And I'm just using a microplane to grate the ginger. And you can use as little or as much as you like. If you don't like ginger, you can just eliminate this whole part. I find the ginger adds a delicious flavor to the sauce. I'm also using four cloves of garlic. And again, you can use as little or as much as you like. I'm adding it to the ginger because we're gonna add it to the frying pan all at the same time. And I'm just using my garlic press because I don't have to chop anything today, but you can use, um, you can just chop it up if you like. Making the sauce with two teaspoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of regular soy sauce, one tablespoon of a dark soy sauce. And dark soy sauce will just add darker color. Um, but if you don't have dark, you can just use the regular soy sauce as well. And two tablespoons of oyster sauce. If you're allergic to oyster sauce, they also make a vegan version out of mushrooms. So you can always try to find that. I'm also adding a quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper. I'm just gonna stir that together and set it aside. You can use fresh egg noodles as I have in the recipe in the cookbook, or today I am using dried yellow noodles, and I have about 12 ounces of dried, which will give me about a pound when it's all cooked up. So I'm gonna cook these. It only takes three minutes, and that's enough time for me to get my sauce ready, and then the noodles will go right in it. I'm heating up my wok. And I'm heating it up to low today because I don't want the garlic and the ginger to burn. I prefer using a wok because it's easy for me to toss the noodles around. But if you don't have a wok, you can use a large frying pan or a Dutch oven even to just get the sauce in there so that when you put your noodles in, it's easy to toss around. I'm also out of vegetable oil. So I am using olive oil today and I know that it's gonna add just a little bit of a different flavor to it, but again, I'm not gonna let that stop me from having these noodles tonight. That's two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna add my ginger and garlic right in there. And we're just gonna cook that for about 30 seconds to a minute. You don't want it to burn, so make sure you keep moving it around. I'm gonna turn it off the heat. That's it for the sauce, the cooking part. And now I'm just waiting for the noodles. All right, so my noodles are done. I'm just gonna add it straight to the wok. It doesn't have to be drained really well because the liquid will add to the sauciness. The noodles are hot, so I don't need to heat it through. So the wok is not on. There's no heat. I'm just gonna stir this around a little bit to get some of that garlic and ginger kind of dispersed through the noodles. Look at all that. And adding my sauce. Also adding a tablespoon of sesame oil. And sesame oil is super fragrant and it will lose its fragrance if you cook it or heat it up. So sesame oil is actually best added at the end. I'm also adding about a tablespoon of roasted sesame seeds. Oh my goodness, it smells and looks so, so good. All right. Now, if you guys didn't have this yellow noodle, you can always use spaghetti, angel hair pasta, regular white noodles, whatever you like. 
It will be delicious however you want to make them. Even instant ramen noodles would do really well here. All right, I'm actually gonna put all of it onto this plate. I'm just gonna garnish with some green onions. You don't have to add them if you don't want. We're starting with half a pound of beef. I am using top sirloin today. It's not my usual cut of meat that I like to work with, but the flank steak was really expensive and this was like half the price. So that's what I'm using today. Just wanna cut it at an angle, um, kind of across the grain. If you look at the meat, you'll see that the strands are going this way and we're gonna cut it kind of slices at an angle. And this will just help with the um, texture of the beef. And once your meat is sliced, you're gonna transfer it to a bowl. Okay, adding a teaspoon of soy sauce. And a teaspoon of Shaoxing wine. Shaoxing wine is just a rice wine, cooking wine. If you don't have it, you can use a dry sherry, or we've been known to use bourbon in the past. You can just use regular rice, rice wine. Um, if you don't want to use it at all, just add another teaspoon of soy sauce. And one teaspoon of cornstarch. That will just help to velvet the meat and that adds to the mouth feel. Just stir this around until all the cornstarch is dissolved. While the beef is marinating, we're gonna get started on our sauce. I have one and a quarter cup of beef broth. I'm adding one teaspoon of sugar. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. One tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce is gonna give it a richer brown color, but if you don't have dark, you can always use regular soy sauce. And that's it, I'm gonna give this a stir. Oh, one last thing, quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper. Ground white pepper adds heat. It's kind of different from black pepper, but you can always just use black pepper if you like. And we'll set that aside. That was the sauce for the gravy, and we have another sauce for the noodles. I have an eighth of a teaspoon of white sugar, and I'm gonna add one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Again, if you don't have dark, just use the regular soy sauce. And again, the dark gives the extra color that we're looking for. And two tablespoons of regular soy sauce. Dissolve the sugar and set that aside. Remember the tips of the green onions that I've been planting? Well, this is just like one stem of green that grew from one of them. So I'm just gonna use this one giant stalk of a green onion. I mean, the whole stalk has like multiples of these leaves growing, but I just want to use this for garnish. So I'm gonna cut it up. I'm just gonna chop it up now. Probably the equivalent of what, like two stalks of the green part. I'm just gonna slice it up at an angle. You can cut it up however you want, and if you don't want to use any green onion, you don't have to, it's just garnish. But it also adds flavor. I also have a clove of garlic that I want to add. So I'm gonna chop that up. You can also run this through a garlic press if you like. We're also using two eggs. Just gonna lightly beat them in a bowl. Okay, that's it. We'll set that aside. We're using fresh rice noodles today and I am very privileged to be able to find freshly made uh, rice noodles but you can also get them in the refrigerator section in most Asian markets, already cut, but um, I'm gonna cut these myself. So just 
about three quarter inch thick. That's how I like it. So I'm just gonna separate them a little bit. They don't have to be like individually because they're very thin otherwise, like that. So I just leave them kind of like four or five, um, four or five layers thick. Separating them will just make it easier for you to stir fry. Right, we're gonna get started. First with the noodles. So I'm gonna heat up my wok on medium high. You want to see that wisp of smoke and then add your oil. I'm using avocado oil today, two tablespoons. I haven't tried avocado oil. Uh, this is my very first time, but I read that it is good for high heat, just the same as canola oil and vegetable oil. So I thought I'd give it a try. And adding my noodles now. Stir fry this for about a minute. Kind of heat it through. If you can't find fresh noodles, you can always use dried noodles. Just make sure that you follow the instructions on the package to rehydrate them before stir frying them. So we're gonna add that sauce for the noodles, which was the soy sauce and dark soy and sugar. I'm going to make sure that the sauce is evenly dispersed, the noodles, so that the noodles are nicely colored. The noodles might stick to the bottom a little bit, just make sure you get your spatula underneath and scrape it up. That's what adds the um, the aroma and the extra flavor for the noodles. And the noodles are otherwise very bland if you don't add any flavoring to it. I'm gonna turn off the heat. Transfer it onto a plate. Turning the wok back on to medium high, adding another tablespoon or two of oil. We're gonna get our beef going. I'm gonna let it sear for about a minute. We're gonna move the oil around a little bit. I'm gonna cook this until the beef is about 80% cooked through. Moving the beef to the side. I'm gonna add the garlic. Just stir fry for another 30 seconds or so until you smell the garlic. And we're gonna add the sauce, the gravy. Here you can scrape up some of the bits at the bottom, kind of like deglazing. We want this sauce to simmer. In the meantime, we're gonna make a cornstarch slurry to thicken the sauce. About a tablespoon of cornstarch. And a tablespoon of water. It has to be cool or room temperature water. Otherwise it won't dissolve. Sauce is now simmering. I'm gonna add our cornstarch slurry. Try to give it a good stir. Turning down the heat to a low, medium low. Oh, this looks so good. All right, I'm gonna add our egg. Kind of drizzle it in, in ribbons. Okay, I'm gonna let the egg cook a little bit. Okay. 
right, turning the heat off. See how that dark brown color is coming out? That's because of the dark soy. So if you're just using regular soy sauce, it's not gonna be this dark. Adding two teaspoons of sesame oil. And we're gonna spoon this right over our noodles. I wish you guys can smell this. It is, smells so good. Another option is if you don't have access to uh, this rice noodle, you can always just serve it on top of rice and it would be delicious. I'm putting it down because it's too heavy. And again, guys, it is such a great deal to just make it at home instead of ordering it out. The plate of this is probably like what, 20 bucks. And the beef cost me less than $5. So, and the noodles were fairly cheap, probably about $2. Adding the green onions for garnish. And there you have it. I'm using these very thin rice vermicelli noodles today. And when you buy it, it's dried. And every single package of rice noodles has its own instructions on how to um, prepare it for fried noodles. So just follow the instructions on the package that you purchase. I used five ounces of that package, which is about half, and this is how much noodles you get. It's a lot, dude. So I just prepared this noodle and I let it um, drain and we want it to be dry, but still moist when we cook it. So once you finish preparing the noodles, it's a good idea to put a wet towel over top just to make sure that the moisture stays in the noodles. Next, I'm going to cut up my veggies. I have a very small red bell pepper. They're, I think they're called sweet mini bells. Anyways, I got a small one because they didn't have any big ones and it was actually quite cheap to buy a full bag of little peppers. So that's what I'm using today. Um, if you can only get the regular red peppers, then just use half. Oh, barely any seeds in here. I'm gonna cut them into short slivers, just easier to eat. And again, this is like a sweet red bell pepper. If you want it to be more spicy, you can use a, well, a spicier pepper. As in a chili pepper? If you want to. You just don't need as much. I also have a very small onion. You can use half an onion or just a small one like this. And I'm also going to just cut it up into slivers about the same size as the peppers. And I like to cut them from top to bottom. So I feel that they hold its shape better. Have two cloves of garlic. You can add more or omit if you don't like garlic. It's totally up to you. I'm just gonna chop it up. I'm using two stalks of green onion that I'm going to julienne, and you can cut them up however you want. It's springtime, so I am actually planting these and it will grow new green onions, just FYI. I'm gonna julienne the green onions. You can leave them in two inch stalks if you like. All right. I know that's a little bit more work than, you know, my usual can't be bothered self wants to do, but it's all about the mouthfeel and I don't like biting into big chunks of green onions, so I will take the time to shred that. I'm also using four ounces of a cha siu, which is Chinese barbecued pork. I just bought this from the store. You can make it yourself. You can check out my videos on how to do that if you like. And I'm just gonna cut these into strands. 
about the same length as the other ingredients. So four ounces is approximately 115 grams, give or take. I'm also using about three ounces of bean sprouts. That's about 85 grams, it's just a handful. Also going to beat up two eggs. The thing about a lot of Chinese dishes is it's a lot of prep work to begin with. It's not really a lot, it's just chopping up the things. But once you get all of your ingredients together, the cooking part of it actually goes by really fast. So I'm also going to prepare the seasoning so that I'm not measuring while I'm trying to cook. So I have half a teaspoon of just plain white sugar, about a teaspoon of salt, I'm just using kosher salt, about a quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper. And I'm just using this, well, it's an Asian special blend curry powder. Nothing super special about it, but I'm gonna use two teaspoons of this. That's the heart of uh, the flavor profile of this dish, really. Yeah, that's why the dish is, is quite yellow. So I don't know how yellow it's gonna be, but we'll see. I'm just gonna stir this up. All right, that's it. Now we're gonna get to the fun part. All right, heating up my wok on a medium. If you don't have a wok, you can easily use a large frying pan. Once you see that wisp of smoke, add about a tablespoon of cooking oil. Okay, just going to spread it around a little bit. We're just gonna fry up our noodles a little bit. This just gives it a more toasty flavor. Just gonna let it cook for about a minute. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. And do the other side. So we just want it to be a little bit toasty. Okay, I'm just going to put this back in the bowl. I'm going to give it a couple of cuts so that it's easier to eat and easier to cook. Add another tablespoon of oil. And I have 12 shrimp, and it's about three ounces or so. They're just little shrimp. I'm just gonna cook these quickly. Okay, I'm just gonna remove these, put them in a bowl. We don't want to keep them in here because we don't want them to overcook. Adding more oil if needed. And we're gonna do the eggs. Okay, remove the eggs. I just put it back in the same bowl because we're gonna put the eggs back in with the noodles later. All right, again, just a little bit more oil. And adding our onions and red pepper. Stir fry this for about a minute. Adding garlic, and cook that for about 30 seconds. Just until you start to smell the garlic. Adding the bean sprouts just for about a minute. Next, we're gonna add our barbecue pork. We just want the meat to be heated through. It already looks and smells so delicious. You can only imagine. And now we're adding the seasoning. Just 
cook this for about a minute. Oh, if you thought the smell was amazing just before this, it's even more amazing now. The curry, delicious. Now adding our noodles. So this part, I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit and you're just gonna patiently kind of move the noodles around until it's all evenly colored and all the ingredients are evenly distributed with the noodle. And turn off the heat and add the remaining ingredients. About a teaspoon of soy sauce. Adding our shrimp back in and our egg. And make sure you break up that egg a little bit. Okay. Teaspoon of sesame oil and about half of your green onions. All right, look at how much this makes. Amazing. I mean, my package of noodles cost me $3. I used half, so that's like a buck 50. Oh, it's getting heavy. Okay, rest of the green onions going on top. You are not going to get this amount of food in a restaurant. And this was a fraction of the cost. I'm using two mini cucumbers, but you can use a regular cucumber, maybe, well, half of one. You don't need that much. I'm gonna slice this up into smaller pieces so that we can top it. We're not gonna cook it. I just want to prepare all of my veggies before I get started. Just gonna put this in a bowl and set it aside. I'm using sort of one stalk of green onions. These are from the garden. So these are the, you know, the butts I've been telling you all that I've been planting outside. Well, this is from the, those butts. Nice. This will be garnish at the end. So you can use it or not use it, it's up to you. Put this also in a bowl and set it aside. I'm using four cloves of garlic. You can use as little or as much as you like. We're just gonna chop it up. You can run this garlic through a garlic press if you like, but I've been finding that chopping it is actually better for Asian cooking because when I run it through the press, I find that the garlic burns too quickly because I've cut, like, it's too fine. So when I chop it up, you don't have to chop it as fine. And it doesn't take long. I'm also going to put this in a bowl. Also using a knob of ginger that is maybe thumb size-ish. I've already peeled it. You don't have to peel it if you don't want to. I'm just going to grate it in with the garlic because we'll be cooking this at the same time. I like to grate the ginger because I find it's more fine than when I can chop it. When I chop it, it's just little bits of it's just not the right texture. Next, we're going to prepare our sauce. So I have two tablespoons of a brown sugar. I like using brown sugar because it dissolves really quickly. You can use regular sugar if you want. Adding two tablespoons of regular soy sauce or light soy sauce. Two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce adds to the color. If you don't have dark soy sauce, you can use light soy sauce or regular soy sauce. I'm using two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Oyster sauce will add that extra umami flavor. You use about half a teaspoon of the Szechuan pepper. It's known for its tongue numbing feature. That's good enough. You can make this sauce as spicy or even not spicy as you like. We are only gonna use about a teaspoon of this chili oil slash paste. In my original Dan Dan noodle recipe, I think I say uh, a tablespoon to two tablespoons of this and seriously, it is super spicy. So really it's totally up to you. We are totally toning it down by using just one teaspoon. 
I'm using peanut butter today, so about four to six tablespoons, depending how peanutty you want it. And if you don't, well, who doesn't have peanut butter at home? I guess people who are allergic to peanut butter. If you don't have peanut butter to get the same kind of flavor, you can use roasted sesame paste. Stir this up. Oh, that looks and smells so yummy. It does. I'm getting ready to start cooking the sauce. In the meantime, I am boiling water to get my pasta going. I'm heating up my wok on medium high. If you don't have a wok, you can use a, a large frying pan or even a Dutch oven. So long as you can get all the sauce in that pot and then the pasta is gonna go into that same vessel so that you can stir it all around. I'm using a tablespoon of avocado oil. And you can use canola oil or vegetable oil, something that's neutral in flavor. And I'm gonna add my pork directly into the wok. I just wanna flatten it out so that we can get a good sear on one side. Just let it cook for about a minute before you start moving it around. I'm cooking a pound of spaghetti. So this recipe can easily be cut in half, just half all the ingredients. A pound of spaghetti will feed four to six people depending on how big your servings are. I'm moving the pork to the side because I want some of this liquid to kind of burn off a bit. All right, so now I'm left with sort of the pork fat that's in there. I'm gonna turn my heat down to a medium low. And I'm gonna add my ginger and garlic. Let that cook for about 30 seconds to a minute. So I didn't even marinate the pork because this sauce is so flavorful that really, is marinating really gonna make a huge difference? Probably not. Once you can smell the garlic and ginger, you can put your pork back in. Toss that around. I'm gonna add our sauce and heat that through. All right, mix this around. And then we're just waiting for our pasta once this is heated through. Oh my goodness, look at that color. Beautiful. We'll just turn off our heat right now. All right, pasta is done. We're just gonna bring it straight from the pot into the sauce. A little bit of the pasta water will help to coat the noodles. And if you don't have spaghetti or you don't wanna use spaghetti and want actual Chinese noodles, you can totally do that with this recipe. Use what you have. All right, guys, look at this. Oh my goodness, it smells and looks so good. Okay, you wanna make sure that all the noodles are covered. All right, now it's time to put it in a bowl. All right, so an individual bowl size. You can definitely just serve this in a giant bowl for everyone to help themselves family style if you want. Totally up to you. Hey, don't skimp on the meat, girl. <laughs> I'm gonna put the meat on top. There, happy? Yes, happier. For all the garnishing, we've got some cucumbers. And cucumbers will help to give you a cooling effect from the spiciness. I'm gonna add some green onions and some roasted sesame seeds. If you don't have roasted sesame seeds, you can also use roasted peanuts. Mm, does that look good or what? 